Hello everyone, Dreamcast720 here, back with another video. Um, today we're going to be looking at Supergirl number 20. Uh, this is the last issue of this run. Uh, this is the Art Germ variant, a uh, very nice painted cover here. Um, other than that, there's not really a whole lot I can say about this book. Um, as you look, the just in the beginning here the the artwork is just very generic there's nothing spectacular about it so if you've been reading supergirl the end of last issue supergirl appeared before ben supergirl's boyfriend and wanted to talk you know was she going to tell him his secret identity no um, what you had here is she basically wanted him for his communication skills and so while you have you know all of that happening you have bones the the Kryptonian mad scientists you know basically gets attacked and of course you have uh, you know this girl here in the this the psycho reactor and of course you have the the crew that's out to follow her now as all of that is going on you have one of the blandest most generic villains i mean what a name turd golden axe the viking judge my word has been law for centuries so she starts running through the streets causing generic havoc I mean so of course you know while they're hatching that out she has to go out there and actually save bones and starts to fight Supergirl you see the shock it's like you know why would she do such a thing but I mean that's the history of the Superman Supergirl Superboy character you know, we will defend any form of innocence, even if they're an evil son of a bitch. Alright, you get it. You get some more generic fighting, you get more generic fighting, and of course, you know, you have um, this girl here and the wolfman. You know, we're, we're going to take out the guy. ta 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 The girl that was in the psycho machine, you have... You know, we're going to, after all this is done, though, we're just going to stand here and make out for a little bit. You know, no big deal. I mean, leave it to the to the wolf guy to kind of clean things up here a little bit. You know, you're like, okay, that was totally out of place. So you've got, you know, Bones, who's fearing for his life, feared that, you know, he was going to be killed. And, of course, you have Supergirl and, and Turid, or the Turd, as I call it, going back at it. Um, you've got Ben here still trying to figure everything out. You know, he's going to handle the communications end, as we talked about earlier. And it just gets even more generic. I mean, there's nothing exciting. The artwork is completely uninspiring. I mean, you're just continuing to watch. You know, he's still trying to escape. But the one thing I found interesting is this panel right here where of course you see you know lit up that you know we got the big reveal and supergirl was framed and and all of that and it's it's a testament to to our social media time of course because this is how we're going to do it so you have the more generic fighting more generic fighting and then you have neon which is dc's generic version of doctor strange and he's just, you know, enough and basically takes her away and you're like, okay. So, of course, Supergirl's going to confront Bones again, telling him it's all over. And, of course, here comes the rest of the pack here. And then later on, it's just, you know, she's back in her regular clothes and they're having this dinner and oh all of a sudden he remembered he had to do something for a supergirl and bails on everybody 
and you have her going live on TV and on social media. And the sentiment, you know, where she says, and I choose to believe that together we can build a brighter, better future. I have to, after all, I am the girl of tomorrow. While I agree that we should all build a brighter, better future, this is just all generic drivel. This entire issue was generic drivel. I mean, you know, I'm I'm glad it's the last book in the series. Um, I know that, that people are clamoring for her to get a, a regular, ongoing, long-run series. Um, not with the people you have writing and drawing it right now. I mean, if you're going to do Supergirl, to her right, don't don't rely on you know the art germ covers to sell your book. I mean, for a 20 issue run, I believe there were five or six art germ covers to help push this book. So I mean, that's telling you something. It's telling you it's not selling well. It tells you you need to do something different. Um, I would not recommend this book. I mean, unless you're a diehard Supergirl fan or um, like I said you like the art germ covers I mean I'm not gonna lie I did buy a copy of this book but I simply bought it for the cover I really loved the painted cover um, I have one of his other ones but I mean there are four of them that I don't have I don't know if I'll go back and get them or not um, but this is just a book to steer clear of it's very generic very dull not worth the four dollars that they want for it so what did if you bought this book let me know what you thought of it um, down in the comments uh, if you like this video hit that like button subscribe you know if there's a book that you'd like me to review definitely let me also know down in the comments and until next time I will see you soon peace